Hey guys, how's it going? It's Thang and welcome back to this ghetto hole that we are in. So today I'm going to be showing you some of the aloes that I have. I've collected quite a of aloes since last year and they're fully rooted and they're beautiful and I'm just waiting for summer to come because then we get some more beautiful colors. So let me show you. So here is our collection of aloes. Um, it is a little pinker because of the light over here. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? That's very beautiful. But yeah, a lot of these aloes here are just hybrids. They're just dwarf aloes. They're just seedlings, um, but there's there's no names to them because the, the cultivator, cultivar, didn't give them names, so they're just hybrids. I mean, you can name them if you want to, give them nicknames, whatever. Right, so that's up to you. But yeah, a lot of these are fantastically beautiful. Can't wait for the summer to come because a lot of them become superbly rich in color. So let me start with this one right here. This one is the Aloe Twilight Zone or Gaster Aloe Twilight Zone. It's a mix between an aloe and a Gaster Aloe, uh, sorry, Gasteria Flow. It's beautiful, it's big, and it's nice. In the summertime, I mean, honestly, I think if I put them into a bigger pot, it would be more ginormous. I know they come in ginormously like this, sometimes a little bit smaller, but they're just beautiful. Let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't that? That's gorgeous. We're also filming in a new phone, so that's fine. Right. Anyways, that's pretty gorgeous. I like that. Next one I want to show you is this. I believe this is an aloe kiwi or green tea variegated. I think it's the green tea variegated, one of those ones. But yeah, look how nice that is. That is gorgeous. That color. It is, I think it's a little bit more vibrant and saturated in the lens, but <clears throat> but it's it's pretty neat. Look at all that texture, all the teeth. I know they're not called teeth, but I call them teeth because they look nice. But yeah, that is that this one is magnificently bo I mean gorgeous. Sorry about the shaking my hand. I think I'm getting older because my mom has like shaking. She doesn't have like uh Parkinson or anything, but her hands, like one of her hands just shakes like this a lot, right? Um, but yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that, right? Um, the next one is uh, a hybrid. It doesn't have a name, but I think I picked out a really good hybrid. This one is gorgeous. Let's check. Let me check. Okay, yeah, everything. This one is this one. Like, the pattern on it is just it's just magnificent, isn't it? You put it on the floor. It's easier that way. There you go. There you go. That's just that's just nice. That's just that's just that's just beautifully nice. I like that one. So those three are done. So these ones are <clears throat> a lot of them are hybrids, right? Some of them I know the name. Like this one is the super blue one. Uh, it does have a tag. It does have a tag though, and I've sh I've shown you this before. This one is the Aloe CV PV Super Blue. So PV is the cultivator, <clears throat> and they named it Super Blue. That's pretty nifty. This one doesn't have a name, but it gets super red in the summer and it's just absolutely stunning. Um, this one doesn't also have a name, but I think this is the Kiwi. I think this is Kiwi. I don't know. I got to double check whether Kiwi, I, th I think this is the Kiwi one. This one is the Starlight, TCT Starlight. It's good. I think it's just a little dehydrated because we did water like last, not this Thursday, last Thursday. Yeah, so we got to water it next week. So this one's nice. Yeah, this is the uh, third one I have but because it kept dying on me. This one I thought I sold off, but I still have it. This one's okay. I think I might get rid of this one. This one I really like. Like, look at that whiteness. Look at that. Look how gorgeous all that texture, all that color is. That looks really nice. This one, I think I, I'm definitely going to get rid of this one. Right? This is the Aloe Black Beauty. Look how black it is. It is it is very, very dark green. You can see there's a green right here. It's just very, very, very dark green thanks to the LED. I believe in the summer because it doesn't get that much sun. Um, it does turn back to a little bit greenish, but this is just uh, magnificently black right now. Uh, this here is the aloe distance. 
you'll see a lot of these in, well, you used to see a lot of these in Mama Eubanks' uh, videos. She loves these ones, so yeah. This is the Aloe TCT Hybrid Green something. I don't know what it's called. It's just a hybrid, right? This is the Bright Ember. Very nice. Um, this one is, I think I like this one because it does have that little fat leaf on the side. If you let it to grow, I think it does get a lot bigger. But yeah, it has this nice orangey tone, right? Um, this one is, oh yeah, yeah, this is another uh, Super Boost. So I can sell this off. I can sell this off. This one I can sell off. Um, this one is, I don't know, these two are the same. I think those two are the same. Oh yeah, yeah, they are the same. I think they're called, don't remember the name. I gotta look it up, but don't remember the name. Uh, this one has no name, it's okay. Oh, this one's the mustard, I think that's the mustard. Yeah, the mustard, he sent me a replacement because the one that I got in just died. So yeah, that's the mustard. This one, I this one is most likely something. This, like I said, there's a lot of them that don't have names, right? So you don't know which one. Oh, uh, these these are the barcode types because they look like barcodes on this on the pattern. Like, see the fuzzy pattern? Hold on. Yeah, wait, let me go. There you go. I think that's the best micro. Oh yeah, yeah, my yeah. There you go. There you go. Anyways, but yeah, yeah, that one. This one, I'm okay with. It's okay, you know. Oh, this is the Christmas sleigh or Christmas carol. Um, I like to leave it as dwarf type so that way it looks miniaturely nicer than normal because a lot of people will like water it and they'll let it grow and it's just like outgrown. But like when you just like kind of torture like this way, um, it stays very compact. Yeah. This one, uh, it's not doing very well. I've had it for like over a year now, a year and a half now. This is a Jacunda variegated. It's not doing very well. So we'll see what happens this summer. I might just sell it off too. Oh, this one's pretty neat. This is the, uh, oh, I don't know what it's called. A uh, little uh, something LTT hybrid. Uh, I don't remember. It's one of those ones. Uh, this one's one of my favorite one. This is the Golden Scale, TCT Golden Scale. Uh, he didn't have it on for sale, but I asked him about it and he's just like, oh yeah, yeah, I have one. There you go. Um, it looks magnificent in the summer. It's very, very golden in the summer. It's kind of greenish right now because it does get a lot of water. It doesn't have that much heat, but during the summertime when it's heat, oh, it is so orange and gold and yellow. It's spectacular. And since in the summer, like I water a lot more. So it, the leaves are like superbly pumped, plumped up like a, like a, like a turkey. Superb. This is the Aloe Noblis, <clears throat> Noblis variegated. Yeah. One of those one. Castellonia. Superb. Of that, that's the original one. I ha I also have the one with the um, teeth in the middle or the spikes in the middle. Sorry, I gotta re 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 restructure myself because my butt. Um, this one is what is this one? It has a name. It has a name. Do you have a name, sir? You have a name. You do. Oh, how you do. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the Lazarite. Oh, let me show you. So we have we have a few we have a few pop of the Lazarite. We got one there, one there, one there, so I can sell them off. Yeah, so this is the TCT Lazarite. Oh, so beautiful. Look at that teeth. Show me the, show me them teeth. Arr, 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 arr. Show me them teeth. Oh, so beautiful, right? Oh, it's magnificent. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh my god. This is like one of the reasons why I love these al dwarf aloes because they have so much texture to them. Oh, they're just gorgeous. Oh, the only thing I don't like about aloes is they're very susceptible to aloe mites, which sucks, right? There's no cure for. Oh, there is a cure for it in Thailand, uh, but you can't import them in, which sucks. But I know the cure. I kind of have a cure for it, but I can't even tell you what it is. 
because you, you can't even you can't even import it in. Anyways, this is one of my other favorite one. Look at how like orangey and look at the texture. Look at the teeth on the sides, right? That is just magnificently beautiful. Mm. Love it. I might sell this off because this kind of looks like the golden scale, but it's like a different golden scale, right? It's sometimes random seedlings just become like their parents so they don't know. This is one of my favorite ones. It has a lot of teeth. Look, it has a lot of fluffy teeth. Oh, love it. I love it. Love it so much. Uh, this one is the, what is this called? Horntail. Unfortunately, it had. Um, it had aloe mites, so I just cut off the top and hopefully the rest will recover. And usually, if it affects only the top part, you you just cut all the way down and leave like some leaves right here. And usually, it will pop a pup on the side and the pup won't, wouldn't have any of the aloe mite that happens. Right? Uh, sometimes it just grows in the middle like this too. I think that looks fine. Yeah, we'll see. It's it's a slow grower. It looks okay. Yeah, it looks okay. So it looks fine. Uh, this is a Allo Castellonia X something hybrid variegated. Look how nice that is. It's nice in the summer. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love the word beautiful. I love that word beautiful. This one had alomites too. You can see, I cut the top. All right. Let's see. If, do we have any more? Yeah, we I think we have a few more. So I might cut it off even more. I just want I just want you to grow on the side, so we'll see. Well we'll have to spray that down. Um this one looks kind of ugly because it's still green, but in the summer it's very pinkish. I love the teeth patterns. I love the ridges. It's just magnificent. That's beautiful. This one also it gets nicer in the summer. Okay. Uh, this is an aloe brevifolia variegata or variegated aloe brevifolia. You can see there's some onions. Would you like some onions? Would you like some potatoes? This is a, a sweet potato, a yam, they call it. Uh, but yeah, this aloe brevifolia is right now ginormous. You see how ginormous that is? Yeah, it's ginormous. I've had this for many years now. I got it when it was like a little thingy. It was, it was I think it was like pretty expensive but now it's uh, like a lot cheaper but now this plant itself it's because it's so huge that it's it's hard to sell a gigantic plant like this if only i had a house because it does give me like a lot of pups so i could have i could have just sold off a lot of the pups i still have i mean i still grow the pups so when they're ready i'll just sell them off this is beautiful though um this is the aloe simoleensis variegated um a lot of people so let me let me uh, explanation some educational thing. A lot of the variegation on these type of aloes, these two aloes, are purely random, right? So you might find somebody says, "Oh, this is pure variegated aloe." No, it just it just it's the variegation is very random. So when you get something that could be like purely variegated, like this or like this it can revert back to something like this, right? Because when I got this right here, it was like this. It was it was purely like that. And I was more than happy with it because I love the pattern. But over time, the variegation just took over, right? So it's it's just it's just very, very random. Um, it can revert any time as well. But, but sometimes you're just more than happy to get like, something like this it would just become something like this this wasn't like this this was like more green it's just it's just how it is so most of the time some of these variegation that you're paying for is just the look that you're getting right now that's it um because over time it will just become it just becomes fully variegated like that this one i do like it, it's it's very flat and very fat I don't know what this is called, but that looks cool. I like this one, hold on. This one, uh, this is pretty cool. That is that is pretty cool. It's a little stretchy. I think it's a Castellonia uh, hybrid of some sort. 
because you can tell, you can see it's uh, the characteristic of it. So that looks really cool. I liked it because it was pink. This is um, I'm okay with this. I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not big. I'm not a big fan of that one, right? Um, this is a snow princess. Uh, see, okay. See, this is this is aloe mite right there. So what we're gonna do is because this part is infected, um, aloe mites are are n microscopic mites that you cannot see. Let's see. Yeah that damage the cell and it's very infectious right so what we're going to do is we're going to cut it all the way down to here see that part's not infected and hopefully it'll um it'll pop out some some pops for us yeah nothing you can do this is a aloe uh tempura tempura aloe tempura very beautiful lots and lots of like patterns this already gave me three pops this is the third pop right here so that would be my backup plant yeah it is oh, in the summer just beautiful 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 plant um okay <clears throat> uh i don't know when this one's called it's just it's just a nice blue aloe <laughs> uh this is this is the aloe hellfire very very beautiful it is a castellonia type of hybrid you can tell by its characters characteristic like how it looks that's that's castellonia um oh i'm missing one of them hold on oh yeah it's over there okay that's fine that's the blue angel it's fine blue angels could be over there but yeah this is this is the um this is the hellfire very very beautiful plant very beautiful patterns superb summer is just all red so i'm saving the best one for last one of my f uh this is the my um uh, my ultimate aloe um and it's you can find a lot of these in socal easier than i can in canada but yeah this is an alley al aloe personia um i think it's um originated from zimbabwe um i think or namakilan one of those one but i think it's it's zimbabwe though zimbabwe is where where it originated from um it took me quite a long i know i keep saying this in every hour video but it took me quite a long time to find a seller that was willing to ship it to me that i even sold it at all because once it comes up it just go it's people just buy them right away right so i got i got this one you see how like the top right here it's turning what it, it would like in nature um, if you look at natural pictures of them, they're just pure red, pure red in, in Zimbabwe, pure, pure red, um, in more cultivar type of, uh, greenhouse. They're very plumped and green. Mine, unfortunately it is, it is, um, more dehydrated or flat. Cause you know, our temperature is more temperate, so it's not super hot. It's not super cold. It's like right in the middle. So all the stomatas are not fully closed, right? Versus like in SoCal where it's like it's fully closed because the um, the temperatures is super hot. So it retains a lot of the moisture. Um, but over here in Canada, where I live, it's very temperate. So the stomatas are not super closed, right? So, but yeah, look, it has one pup right there. Oh, I think that's big enough for me to off th this year. Two pup right there, three pup, and then one, four, four, five, six, seven, eight pups. Eight, eight pups, eight pups. Yeah, so this is this is my ultimately favorite aloe. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it quite a lot. Remember, thumbs up, press like, subscribe, and let me know which one's your favorite. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Love you, bye.